Right. I'm in a field and there are some cows. Um, if they've spotted me, they haven't taken any notice. But in that field next door, there's some really big brown cows, which is the alternative field. And they're hidden behind a wall. So I could have easily come up through a field over there and ended up with them. Well, back there, there's a couple of black cows. This used to be a massive herd in here. But, um, <clears throat> okay, when they're pretty, I'm just having to use the backup battery now. Over there on the hill is the nine barrows of pretty, pretty barrows along there. Well, I was up there the other week near there, not far. I'm in a field, there's a couple of cows, they're a long way off. If I'd gone over there, I might have come across some cows in that field, that might have been a bit risky. But I've got a feeling I would have been the other side of the fence as well, there, so. Over there as well, we got that uh, stock hill wood that I explored in the last couple of weeks. Over there, near Pretty. And then, um, if we go, it's taken me four hours to get here from Cheddar, so <coughs> if I decided to turn back now, I'd miss the bus. You can't go back this way, see? It's, it took me quite a while, there's a lot of hills. But right over there, they, they were closer earlier, is the Mendips, the area of outstanding beauty, sort of orangey. Brackeny type hill on the top there. That's the top of the Mendips there. Then we come along a bit. We'll eventually come to. Um, well, you can't see it now, but the Warren. But anyway, I've been fortunate. I've managed to just miss cows. I've just managed to miss cows, and I'm in this big field where cows are but they're right down in the corner because there's a parallel path over that way which I used not long ago by accident and it takes you out by a farm over there and I, if I think, if the cows had been all over this field a minute ago I would have carried on down that way and come up through but I've managed to the cows are still out, the grass is still growing because of the mild weather there's no reason to shut the cows away. They only go in when it's really bad weather. Um, and they keep them out for as long as possible. They just bring hay out to them. There's hay ricks. There's, um, I've noticed all the, the water containers for them is, are all topped up and clean. And they're right down there. I can just see the back of a couple of them now. One had just lay down. But I've been lucky all the fields. I've had a lovely walk. I've been wanting to do this walk from Cheddar. I hadn't done it in reverse before. I'm doing it in reverse now. But the idea of it today was to explore, which I might not have time for, another pathway. But you've got to get all the way over here, unless you've got the, unless I got the bus, the 2126, um, unless I'd got the bus further over this way, past, um, Draycott and everything, I, um, you have to walk this way to get to it, see? It looks to me like they don't want you using their, um, style here. That's what it looks like, they're trying to stop us using it. I've got to go look at it. It's slightly a different field I'm in again. I should be further over that way, by the way. There's a big herd of cows over there. And I've walked for miles. I've walked for miles and miles. It's not really far, but it is when you're... Um, 
it is when you are uh, just got your legs. Oh, yeah. I just got to make sure there's no. This is a different field that I'm getting into now. I should be in one further over, you see. Looks to me like they're trying to stop us. What does that say? Caution, cattle. Cattle crossing. No, I think I'll be alright. I'm just going to leave the camera there. You can video me going over the wall. Well, getting over this bit. They didn't look like sheep to me. The cows come right up to here, look, you can tell. And the ones I've just managed to get across this foot because they're just moving up towards that gate now. And here's an original style. This one. And I can't see any cows in that field. Right, wait a minute. Let's put that there again. While I get over this style. One, two, three. Now, I don't think I've been in this field. Actually, there's a lot of variety that... There's about three fields that you can... Although I don't know. Sure, I went down there. Well, it's a good job. Do you know what? I've timed it really well up till now to get past the cows. I've timed it really well. I mean, in theory, I should be down there somewhere. There's a campsite there. And of course, when I walk through in the summer, you don't always recognise these um, these fields because they're high with barley and wheat and stuff. We just go over here a minute just to see this little mound. All the time keeping an eye out just in case there's a bull. They're putting the bulls out and they're not telling people. Uh, there's a little pile. That was probably some sort of um, shepherd's hut or something once. See, they just pile the stone up like that. The gate I've got to get in is over there. Just a little feature. Yeah, and see the big black cow, he stood up now as well. Yeah, when you know where you are, you see you can roam everywhere. In the winter, it's usually safer. You can probably go straight across there, for example. I've had come all the way around. But, um, and of course, you've got to wait for the winter, but then you've got less light hours. That's the trouble, you've got less light hours. There's a, that would have been a building once, wouldn't it? Definitely. Definitely. I don't think I've done a video for a while. Not well, a couple of weeks since I've done a proper one. this field. Time is limited, not only because it gets dark earlier, but I have walked further than I did before. I've actually, well, I've done, I have done it before. What I'm saying, I've come from Cheddar all the way here towards Pretty. I haven't, sort of, before I normally um, get off the bus at Draycott and, and then and cut out Draycott's lights and all that. And uh, the only thing I did that earlier was bypass the gorge and uh, bypassing cows. I've actually been in fields with cows and um, 
I haven't always known they were there, which is good because I probably wouldn't have entered the field. <laughs> That's happened to me a couple of times. You get these massive fields, and um, but of course I'm, I'm always I quite often I keep to the fence. Then you with the barbed wire everywhere, so you have to drape. You have to risk ripping your coat to bits or be trampled on. So. You just have to lay your coat, double it over, lay it across the barbed wire, near a pole, use the pole, and um, get your feet inside the fence in that's not got the barbed wire on it, and climb over. That's what you have to do. Of course, walking across these fields is not easy, actually. I'll tell you why, because it's bumpy. This is not an even surface. Crops have been planted here. But it's not full of water either. But there's a part of this walk I really wanted to do. And I've done it at the end instead of the beginning, unfortunately. But and it's all to do with time and, and light. Um, in order to get back. I mean, I don't want to be wandering around in the dark, you see. Even if there was time for the bus, I don't want to be wandering around in the dark. I wouldn't want to come face to face with a massive cow or bull. Or a wild dog. I mean, you just don't know what's out. In the dark, you see. It would be scary. Just have a check around us in case there's anything in here. No, we're doing quite well. We're doing quite well indeed. So I reckon, personally, I think there's a way up that side near that near that shrubbery. There's cows in the field over there, but I reckon you can come up over that way. I'm going to try that one day. I have seen a path that I'm going to. I'll try as an experiment. But of course, if I had come up from Draycott, I would have walked right into a field of cows. When I do that particular route, where I get off in the middle of the village and go up a narrow lane, get over a couple of stiles and walk through a few fields, I notice there are cows in there. Now, you might think, what is all the fuss if you don't know? I have been chased several times by very mooing cows. You know, and they're scary, believe me. They would crush you by accident as well, even if they didn't want to hurt you on purpose. They would just crush you. They're massive things. And you'd fall over and they'd just trample on you. So it ain't worth the risk. I'm not, when I go in a field, and I will use my coat to protect my hands, I will get out so there's a fence there. I'll get over it. I've, I've already had to do it in the past, a couple of occasions. I've had to get over barbed wire fences. So you might have to sacrifice your coat. But this is pretty tough. This one's been used a few times. What I do, I fold it inside so that inside would get ripped, not the outside bit, which keeps you dry. So up here, we're coming to a one of those um, kissing gates, or what do you call them? And um, what happened a couple of months, or I don't know, it could have been six months ago, when I did a walk back towards that way, towards Cheddar. Instead of going through this gate, I went through the other one. There, next, I, I'd forgotten I'd used this one. Now, on that occasion, it was a good job I hadn't come through this side. Because the, down there, there was a hundred cows down that way. So by sheer luck, I decided to take the other gate, which took me with an electric fence down that way to Pretty. Yeah, you know, I've been exploring around this area quite a lot, actually. Quite a lot I've been exploring. There we go. 
see, it looks like you can't get out, doesn't it? If you look at it, you think, well, how are you going to get through that gate when there's a bloody wall there? Exactly. So you think, come on, Alex. There's a stile the other side of it. There we are, look. And they've already planted some plants ready for the spring. Some of them don't have animals in. There's a few fields now that don't have um, cows in at all. It's been a really good day. I've, I feel so well when I do my walking. I really do. I've just gone through that gate, come through that gate there, that metal one, but here's a, another one. And this takes you out closer to the village and you just go straight across there. But if that's okay if you want to go to the village, but if you're going perhaps towards Cheddar, you might want to go that way. But be wary in the summer because that is filled with cows. There's cows in there now. Now this has all been planted, I can see. This has all been planted with, um, this is the time to look for treasure, you know, by the way. It'll be dug up by the, um, I'll just take that little bit. Very light. The farmer's planted the seeds already for next year.